Hi guys, in today's video I'd like to talk about the Cuban cross position in Latin dance. Uh, you will have a lot of this position in Cha Cha, you'll see it a lot in Samba and in Rumba. I think pretty much in all Latin dances you will definitely come across it. So a Cuban cross position would happen in, for example, if you're doing a Cha Cha New York, you would do two. So this right here is a Cuban cross position. Or if you're doing a whisk, and then finishing off over here, that's a Cuban cross position. So there's a lot of ways in which this position can look bad and kind of messy. One is if your foot is sort of like, you know, not controlled, or it could look lazy if your heel is sort of dropped in the back, so you want the heel really high up, or it could just look messy if your foot is just in whichever position. So you also want it in a place where it will make you the most balanced pass possible. So let's start off by placing our standing leg. Our standing leg is the one that has most of our weight. It's going to be straight. Notice my foot is not in sixth position, but it's turned out slightly. So not turned out too much, but turned out slightly. And then I'll bring in my supporting foot. Now my supporting foot, the turnout in both feet will be the same. So you're not going to have one foot turned out this much and the other one turned out this much, for example, that would be too much. Or one turned out and the other one not turned out. That would be wrong too. So equal amount of turning on both feet. Now your standing foot is going to be flat. Your supporting foot will be on the ball of the foot. And I believe I have a video on this channel where I talk about feet in Latin dance. And I always say that if you have a supporting foot, the supporting foot is usually on the ball of the foot. It needs to be the highest possible ball of the foot. So this looks kind of a little bit lazy and it's also weak. It's not really helping you much. But if you lift it to the highest possible, that's a very strong foot and you can really rely on it. So the other thing that's really important, this is also in my feet video, you always want to be on the inside edges of your feet, never on the outside edge and never sort of just have midway between two. Definitely push on the inside edge of your foot, always, whether it's flat or whether it's on the ball of the foot. So this is your supporting foot in the cubicle cross position. Highest possible ball of the foot, pushing onto the inside edge of the foot, um, highest possible heel. And now take a look at where this foot is. It's the toes or the ball of the foot is aiming at the heel of my supporting foot. So you don't want it up there kind of aiming into nothing or over here aiming into your toes, kind of in between. So somewhat in this area is where your toes are pointing at. Um, what else is important here? Okay, so in the Cuban cross position, you want your standing leg straight, your supporting leg is bent, and your knees, notice, are beside each other, and they're pushing strongly into each other. So not behind, not in front, but beside. So, two. Yes? And this is definitely a position you want to practice a lot because like I said, this position, you will find it a lot throughout your entire cha cha routine, um, samba routine, you'll see it a lot. So, two. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, please subscribe down below and leave me a comment. I would like, I would like to hear what you thought of this video or if there's anything special that you'd like me to do next. Thanks for watching.